Hello everyone, I'm Jesse Krall. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. The seventh ranked St. Thomas football team takes a six game winning streak into a tough test against Bethel at home Saturday. Following a bye week, the four and two Royals are tied for third in the conference standings. Bethel's Mayak leading run game is anchored by tailback Marshall Klitsky, who's fourth in the conference in rushing yards per game. I'm joined today by coach Glenn Crusoe, wide receiver Nick Waldbogle, and linebacker Tim McClanahan. Thanks for joining us, guys. Happy to be here. Thanks for having us. Coach, the last time your offense totaled fewer than 500 yards was against St. John's. Do you feel the offense will have a test this Saturday against Bethel, who's third in the conference? Without a doubt. Um, offense have been doing well, as you said, but uh, Bethel's defense does a great job. Uh, tremendous athletes, uh, well coached. So uh, it'll, it'll be a little different than maybe the last couple weeks, but uh, I think our coaches have done a nice job this week preparing the game plan. Sticking with the offense, Nick, you logged a lot of time last year as running back, but mm -hmm. now I've switched to wide out. How has that transition between the two positions have, how has that transition been for the two positions, and what's been the hardest part about it? Uh, well, it's gone really well. Uh, the first couple games, I'm kind of feeling my way around, um, but since then I've kind of come into my own and got more comfortable on the outside on the island. Uh, it's gone really well, so I hope we can continue the success on Saturday. I don't want you to pick one, but what would you say is your favorite position? You know, they're just such different positions. I mean, when you're running back, you just like just grab the ball and run. You're just an athlete the whole time. When One of the hardest things that I had as a wide receiver right away was that you have to run your route, do your steps, and then once you get the ball, make a play. So uh, they're just very different, and I, I'm really liking wide receiver, though. Switching to the defense, Tim, you face another good running back in Klitsky. The defense have seen the Mayaks best, including Sam Sura, uh, Terrell Martin. Um, what does Klitsky bring that those two didn't? Um, I think he's a very similar runner to Sir. Obviously, a tough kid, um, downhill slasher. So for us, the focus has just been on us this year. Can't really worry about the team playing. So the focus on us would play within ourselves. You know, play the best of our ability. What's going to be the key factor to shut him down in this offense? Um, everyone running the football, doing their responsibility to the best of their ability, and not trying to do too much, not trying to be a hero. Coach Bethel handed you guys one of three losses last year. What's the biggest difference from that team last year? Uh, there are still both programs. I have a lot of respect for their program, and, and I would venture to think it's probably mutual. But uh, you know, the programs still have a lot of the same tenants. Um, however, our team is gravely different. I don't want to. I mean, their team is every team is different. Um, I'm not their head coach, so I'm not going to comment on how theirs is. I will tell you that ours, uh, we made a lot of off-season off, uh, moves. And I just think overall it's a completely different feel than it was last year. This type of team reminds me more of the teams from 2011, 2012. Just with how um, we're running the football and how we're playing defense and uh, completely different than it was last year. And now it's time for this week's fan question. This one's for you, Nick and Tim. Senior Cody Linton wants to know, what's been your most memorable game at St. Thomas? Hmm. Um... I mean, all, so many of them have been really good. Um, I would say this year at St. John's uh, was one of the most memorable, but just because of the way that we played and the way that we brought, the way that we like to play football to St. John's and won the game. So that was a great, great moment, and seeing the fans rush the field was just awesome. I'd have to agree with Nick. Uh, losing two in a row at home was tough. Um, so going, going over there, beating them, and playing within ourselves, and really, I think, dominating that game was probably the best moment for me. Coach, do you have one? You've had a lot of memories here. Well, they mentioned a good one for sure. Um, there's probably two or three. I think the Oshkosh National Semifinal game, which in a lot of ways reminded us, reminded me anyway, of that game that they were talking about, uh, physical. Uh, the Bethel 2012, the 37 nothing here, I think where all three phases clicked for the first time in that 2012 season. Uh, but there's so many. I mean, there's been almost 100 now in the last eight years. It's tough. But those are some of, some of the highlights. Hope there's another one this Saturday. We'll work hard. If you have a question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Thank you for joining us. With Coach Glenn Caruso, Nick, Nick Waldvogel, and Tim McClanahan, I'm Jesse Kroll. We'll see you next time in the locker room.